when you look at a place like Chicago, you understand that Chicago has been that way for generations and generations. Chicago has a history of bloodshed, especially when it comes to black people. A history of pain, suffering, trauma, and bloodshed. We think about the Red Summers. We think about all the games, Al Capone, the political upheaval. It's been that way in Chicago for hundreds of years, and it hasn't changed. And it's never going to change, especially for the people who took the brunt of the oppression in Chicago, which is black folks. When you look at people like Lil Dirk, King Vine, all the different gangs out there, you're not going to change that. They've been that way from generation to generation, that mindset has permeated from generation to generation. It becomes a part of a person's um, default mechanism. People talk about epigenetics. I believe in that, folks. I mean, Chicago was hood before that came a turn for black people. It's been that way for, for years. Right, the biggest urban ghetto in America. And I don't think you could change a place like that unless you just rid it of all those elements, which is gentrification, folks. That's just how I see it. And it's unfortunate. I mean, we look at even places in California, like West Oakland. Kind of reminds me of um, Chicago in a way. West Oakland, particularly. All right? West Oakland. I mean, it was no joke. You had a lot of those uh, big duplexes. You had the high rises, acorns. Those people weren't going to change. When you look at those places, those people are not going to change and nobody can make them change no amount of um, voluntary work or preaching or social services is going to make those people change because they've been that way for generation and generation so all you can do is just remove those people i'll call it a form of cleansing the land and starting over blowing up the area and starting over right I don't think it's a good thing but it's the only way because this the reality it just would have kept going it would have been more bloodshed more mamas at funerals more babies losing their fathers Right? People get mad about gentrification, but what were those people doing to improve? What would have happened if it was never gentrified? People would be out there doing the same thing. Right? At one point, you couldn't even walk through West Oakland if you wasn't from there. You couldn't just walk through there at all. Now it's safe to walk through there. Right? Oakland as a whole. You could actually hang out there now. For the, for the most part, as a black man, you couldn't be out there unless you was really, really, really from those sets. And that's how it was for black people, period. All right? It was inhabitable. So the only way you can fix those type of places is removing the elements, unfortunately, folks. Tell me if I'm wrong. What other solutions? When something's been, when a train is already in motion, right? How can you slow that train down? Now, this don't apply to every black neighborhood or every black ghetto. I think a lot of places, like maybe in um, Sacramento, maybe some places 
in like Texas because you got guys like Charleston White doing a lot of work there can can change. There is hope, but not places like Chicago. No, it's just too it's just too far gone. What do y'all think?